Okay, feelings from A to Z. Look at that price. Whew. It's a little golden book, but uh, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, artist. Let's get into it. This is 1979. And we've got a little note here from the editors. This golden book can be the start of a very special conversation. After you've read the book, encourage children to remember times when they have had these same feelings. They might want to talk about the feelings they like best and the feelings they like the least. Um, I don't know anything about Pat, the author, but um, the illustrator, Rod Ruth, is... Um, A fairly uh, uh, renowned illustrator, Rod, um, did a lot of comic books, actually, and uh, his most well-known comic series is uh, The Toodles, I believe it's called. Anyway, it looks like he's doing some book work here. Um, let's take a look and see what we got here about feelings. So... Obviously, like you saw in that note at the beginning, which is always good. How can you how can parents discuss topics of these books? Um, but we're starting here. Very simple, like kind of greeting card sort of illustrations. But I still like them. It definitely captures the time. And we got the alphabet going, so they're trying to layer the educational aspects of this. A is for angry. B is for bashful. Looks like it's Valentine's Day. Um, C is for cuddly. D is for daring. It's Donna up on the on the on the fence. Got some good uh, alliteration going on here. Um, he's embarrassed. I really like this. This really gets to that greeting card point. Like, this looks like it was out of a Halloween greeting card from the um, 70s. Fred feels fatherly. Glenn feels glad. Henry feels happy. Ike feels ill. And those are all very real Halloween feelings. I'm surprised they didn't do any kind of, like, scared, scared one. But they're not there in the alphabet. Julie feels joyful. Ken feels kind. Linda feels loving. Max feels mean. I don't know why that's the mean look. It's more like the, uh, I don't know what to do. Norman feels noisy. Ding-a-ling-a-ding. Opal feels obstinate. Whoa, look at that word they pop in there. Pat feels pretty. Quinton feels quiet. Ruth feels relaxed. And now we're at sack race. Good old sack races. I don't even know if they do sack races anymore. Sue feels sad. Tom feels tired. You uncomfortable. Uta is that, maybe? I don't know. She stubbed her toe. And Vera feels victorious. Wanda feels worried. Xavier feels excited. Didn't have much to do there except for just go with the word with the X in the word. Love this though, these shadows on, on the figures. Yolanda feels yelly. And Zelda feels zippy. Anytime you can get somebody in there named Zelda, I'm cool with that. Children with feelings from A to Z are just growing up like you and me. Real simple stuff, but I think it's covered really clearly. 